In case you haven't heard, Democratic leaders keep promising, or at least hoping, for a blue wave in 2018. And with that, we're back with our talk radio panel. Tom out in Oregon, RJ in Pennsylvania. Gentlemen, nice to see you uh, once again. Thanks for sticking around. Tom, uh, to you, had lunch yesterday with a very senior Democratic fundraiser who told me that they're now thinking this Democrat blue wave may be a little bit more like a blue ripple. You agree with that? I, I think that the Democrats face some serious challenges. You've got the Koch brothers dropping $400 million into this election, and, and in addition to money through groups like Americans for Prosperity and whatnot that they control, you've got the American Chamber of Commerce uh, intervening in a big way in a number of these cases, in a number of these races. Um, on the left, there's there are no big money sources. It's mostly crowdsourced, you know, money coming up okay, from the bottom. Okay, so so we, we, it's a challenge. We, we've got the money issue. M mind you, the fundraiser that I talked to yesterday said more. he's got more money than he knows what to do with. What he is struggling with is the message here. Take a listen to Connor Lamb, the Democrat who won the special election in Pennsylvania. I've already said on the front page of the newspaper that I don't support Nancy Pelosi. The real issues are the ones that affect your lives. What does it say that the people who are winning these special elections are doing it by repudiating the Democratic leadership that Democrats are doubling down on? Well, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Connor Lamb is the only person who said that, and he was saying that in response to a whole series of television ads um, being funded by out-of-state billionaires that said that, uh, you know, if he got into office, he would basically be Nancy Pelosi's, uh, you know, boy. And he was just rebutting that. And, and you know, to the extent that they're demonizing her, I, you know, I, particularly in, in uh, conservative areas, this, this idea that women shouldn't be in politics, women shouldn't be in business, um, you know, resonates oh, with, with a lot of Republican voters. Gosh. And so, you know, it's a challenge. He's pushing back. But uh, broadly speaking, the, 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 wait, like wait, 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 RJ, that seems like an awfully big uh, chasm to leap from oh my, attacking yeah, Nancy Pelosi on policy. Look at how many women are elected as Republicans. This, uh, this, you know, representatives. This has, it's it's this, very rare. We don't want women in politics. Tom, yep. I, I mean, where do you get this manual? Why don't you throw in there? Well, that I we remember the way you guys went after Hillary. Security and Medicare while you're at it. And then you'll have the complete list of all the Democratic things. There's going to be no Democratic blue wave because the Democrats have done nothing to make us better. You know, give us three things that they have said or proposed or done that have made life better in America. They're not there. That's why they're going to lose. Has nothing to Democrats do with money. Democrats brought us Social Security. They brought us Medicare. They brought us Medicaid. Oh and the Republicans gosh. right How now many are proposing to destroy ago? all of those. Right now, the, the White yes, House and are. Paul Absolutely. Ryan are talking about a $400 billion dollar cut to Medicare. They cut Medicare back funding in the last in that budget. You the giant must tax be cut into cuts money out of Social Security. This is a broken record. You guys bring this out. Republicans every have time hated Social Security nonsense. since it was okay, created so in 1935. So give me the three things that Democrats have done to make America better. What are the three? All right, things? Tom, you got 15 what seconds. What are they proposing? We'll Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, all, decent all, trade all, policy. All, all of which are now bankrupt. Yeah, unionization, going bankrupt, the rights but, uh, made we'll, we'll leave it there. Uh, gentlemen, appreciate it. Uh, we've heard a little bit about what the primaries look like, and now we have a preview of what the ads in the general election will look like. Thanks, guys.